Live Hip Hop Daily, you know it's a new week. We getting that same money. I don't know where my brother at, but we still in the quarantine. It's DJ Larry Love, man. My brother DJ Vito Cook up Atlanta. And you know this is a special uh, special connection right here, bro. You know what I'm saying? Introduce yourself to the world, my brother. Sue, y'all know what it is, man. It's that boy Beans, Bugatti Beans, Fat Boy Fresh. Come on, man. Splash Jones. Come on, man. Talk shit. that shit, man. I mean, we can keep going, man. Huh? I got a bunch of them, man. Let's talk that shit, man. <laughs> Bugatti Beans in the building, man. And before I jump into this video, I mean this video, this interview, shout out to Los Lauren, man. You know, I still got my mask. You know, we still allergic to failure, man. You still keeping me quarantined clean, my boy. So with that being said, man, how's your quarantine period going? First of all, man. You know, we go back 10, 20 years. A lot of people don't even, we shouldn't even say that on camera. Facts. You know what I'm saying? We shouldn't even say that on camera. We from the Facts. same, we, you know, we used, to, we used to walk the same parts of the world at one time, man. Yeah. So from there to now, man, what's been going on, man? Man, it's grinding, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Trying to stay quarantine free, man. This, yeah. this mother is crazy. This motherfucker, bro. This is crazy. Excuse my French, but this motherfucking thing here. Facts. Every week is something new. Facts. Yo, I just seen our governor sue our mayor for telling people to put a mask on. I seen that. And he came back over the weekend and said, nah, y'all put that mask on. The I fuck is that, that about? That's crazy. It's an entanglement. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I may and our governor got an entanglement, oh, man. man. That shit is crazy. I, I read it and I'm like, that shit don't add up, man. Then it's, so you and your hoes got any entanglements right now? You know, that's the new word in our, yeah, that's, like, a, that's you know, our new we word know how in 2020. Shit, man. We know how to kill a word, man. That's our, but you know what? what's crazy? They said this word been around, we just wasn't using it. Facts. Just like toxic. Just like toxic. And they killed that one. Killed toxic. You right. Just like manifest. You see, everybody was manifesting. Nice. Everybody manifesting this shit. Everybody manifesting in 2000. I fuck with man. the positive energy. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. I fuck with the positive energy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But everybody's manifesting. You know, I like I like the vibes, man. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Um, Again, they still haven't arrested Brianna's killer. We can still say that shit. You know what I mean? I'm touching on all shit. I'm, this is how I'm coming, man. Like, hey, man, I'm going to have a whole different energy, man. You know what I'm saying? But anyway... Let's talk about the music, man. This time, let's, that's what we're here for, man. Yeah, yeah. You don't live in Atlanta, so where you where, nah. where you staying at now, bro? Right now, I'm in the Met, man, Columbia. Shout out to South Carolina, man. Yeah, so that was a, to... that's a three hour drive for you. Yeah. You did yeah, that yeah. this morning. I did that this morning. Oh, this this is a so artist. This is dedication during the quarantine yeah. period. I My man got on the road morning, three hours. Came for an interview, man. <laughs> Straight. Um, man. how how's the temperature of the music game? You out know, there? right right now, everybody is is pretty much grinding, but everybody sound the same. Everybody. So it's like when people hear my music, it's like I don't sound like everybody else. You know what I'm saying? Everybody is the trappy. That's cool. But let's bring it back. Like switch it up. Right. Because right. it's it's hard for somebody to listen to you. Be like, okay, we're going to play this song. And then they listen to the next song. I'm like, damn, he sound like him. They listen to the next song. Like, damn, all three of them sound like it ain't in a group. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, it's shout out to Rennie. You know what I'm saying? She put the, the city on. And uh, Rucci, yeah. yeah, you know oh, what I'm so saying. She's from Columbia. She's yeah. From Columbia? yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. You know okay. what I'm saying. She she doing her thing. Uh, facts. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? I missed it. Hey. Shot the groovy Lou in the bed. What groovy Lou said? What he said? I mean, he said that's his baby. That's his baby. <laughs> hey man, I think that's she my is. Dog, yeah, man. she, she uh, cool. She real down there. She with Wolfpack, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to make sure I said the right shit on camera. Yeah, she with Wolfpack. You know what I'm saying. She doing her thing. There's a lot of Carolina artists that's. You know what I'm saying? Doing it, putting them, putting the yeah. city on. Yeah. You might got the um, I mean, you a rapper rapper. Yeah. And by me saying a rapper rapper, uh, is substance in those bars. Mm -hmm. Um, sometimes in the area, maybe the area just not receptive to that type of shit. Yeah. You, I'm telling you, you in a place where a nigga can say one plus one equals two and the beat hard. Facts. And if you got a thousand people behind them, then yeah. that's the that's the hit. So there's nothing wrong with being from those type of places. Yeah. I'm from that same, but when you from them type of places, you gotta Sometimes hop in that trendy shit and then bring them back to your shit. Yeah, if that makes sense. Like you make yeah. a, you make go do a feature with the yeah. hottest nigga in the city. I got you I got a to... song like that. Uh, it's actually called um, Carolina Blue. Okay, uh, it's a freestyle. It's on YouTube. I, um, okay, that's off the like the, the like the I thought Carolina Blue. Yeah, it's okay. it's trappy. Okay, um, okay. I got a song we're gonna call Hamburger Helper. Trappy. Okay, it's, okay. It's, when it drop, man, it's, it's gonna be crazy. What's but, the project? What's the name of the project? Boss still, you know. Bar still alive. Bar still alive. You know what I'm saying? Cause, like I say, everybody now is so ta 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 ta
Baby probably should have got artist of the year. Yeah. Um, yeah. That 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 bigger picture song is ridiculous. Yeah, it is it's ridiculous. Yeah, like yo, that song I have to listen to it like literally once a week. Yeah, I don't know why. Like it's, I it's different. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I, and I think the fact that a young nigga, excuse my words, excuse my French, a young king, a young black king, came out at the height of his career and made some shit like that. Facts. So you being a seasoned rapper, what's the height of your scenario that you want to do differently coming out of this this quarantine, bro? It has to be a new vibe, like. It has to be something new that you say that you know what I've been doing this shit for. I'm gonna do this. Di- what's what's that different shit that you've been thinking about? I actually, you know, with everything that's going on, I actually did a two Black Lives Matter freestyles. Two, okay. you know what I'm saying? And a lot of people from doing those freestyles, I got a lot of positive feedback. Okay. Like, oh, yo, we needed this and this, that, and the third. You know what I'm saying? Kind of make me feel good. Like, okay, people is taking this serious. You know what I'm saying? Because an artist will do something and you like. You doing it for the cloud, or you just doing it? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like you can see a Nas or a Common yep. or, you know, um, who? Uh, let's see, what's his name? Wale yep. doing a track like J. that. J Cole's doing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But somebody like you know, DMX. Right. <laughs> Speaking of DMX, I'm ready for that goddamn. Uh, oh man, uh, who you got? DMX and Snoop. That cover, yo, I swear that that that, yeah, that cover is dope. That pro, that yo, whoever the promotion, the yeah. person that came up with that German Shepherd versus that fucking pit bull yeah. was the hardest cover that I ever seen. Like that shit is dope. That shit was hard. That was marketing to, to mean, the team. I mean, you yeah. know, being best of both worlds, South Carolina and up north, I still gotta go with Snoop. What? Snoop came Snoop? out with 90, yeah, 93, I, something yeah, like ninety two. I mean, let me stop trying to see. And we yeah. got. I'm talking Snoop got hits. And yeah. then when X come out, it's like, all right, you like you can't sleep on like I was going back and forth with somebody in we was talking about the 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 50 and the TI. Okay, I it's cool. Like, you know, TI got hits, but 50 got hits. You don't think TI will win that battle? No. Okay. No. Um, but before we go to that, uh <laughs> anyway, that's 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 a good concept. Uh hey, but my mama like DMX. So Word. DMX won people mothers are over. Facts though. Like you gotta people gotta understand, like DMX. Is my mother's favorite rapper. You yeah. Know what I'm saying? So, and my mother's, my mother's 60. She's not young. Word. You know what I'm saying? So, for my mother to say her favorite rapper is DMX, yeah. it's like a whole different. I think he made, like, when he made those, he made some commercial. I, I'm no DMX fan. I think, yeah. But I think, but you're right, Snoop got more of a reach, the range yeah. that of the from gin and, and juice. And he got a lot of commercial. He dropped that gin and juice, it's gonna be crazy. I ain't gonna lie. He dropped that gin and juice in the verse. It's crazy that you said it because my mother loves. Y'all gonna party up. Party. Everybody mama loves party up. Who mama don't like? Y'all gonna make me lose my... Everybody mama love party up. I don't know why, but I used to get my ass beat off party up. (laughs) Like, those was... Y'all gonna make me lose my... Like, that was her shit. Going to parent teacher's conference. The preacher said, y'all gonna let me lose my mind up in here. Crazy. So, Um, I don't know. It's gonna be a dope battle, but I I gotta go with Snoop. I gotta go with Snoop. Would you drop an album in 2020, or do you think... This is not the year. To, this is not the time. This is the worst. This is probably one of the wildest uh, years of my life. You know what? Honestly, I think it is the best time to put out music as artists. But as a whole album or project, like I don't think it's the best time because okay. you know everybody focuses on something different. Right. And me personally, as an artist, I want the buzz first before I can put out a whole nother. You know, right. what I'm saying an album or a mixtape. Like I need that buzz first. Well, speaking of buzz, I heard you brought a video with us. Word. I heard you dropped off a video. You know, yeah, so speaking yeah, of buzz, yeah, yeah, man, it's called um, an intro, man. It's, it's just intro. basically like me, like just speaking. So it's like an official. This is a yeah, official, that's official okay, for the intro. Yeah, video. yeah. okay. So yeah. what's the, what is it? The intro for? Uh, this mixtape I'm working on. Um, I'm looking to drop it in December on my birthday, or we might just wait the next year when everything calm down. Word. But I'm got a bunch of things coming up, like uh. Supposed to be performing at the show in, in South Carolina. Um, okay. Just different things, man. Different outlooks. You know what I'm saying? We're trying to get our hands in. But maybe next year we're going to drop it. But, I mean, that's that's the biggest thing right now is the, uh, the intro, man. It's, it's, it's moving. Well, shit. Go ahead. Let, well, JB, we got that shit ready. We got it cooked up. Let's go and get into that shit. Drop that shit, JB. Hey, bro, you know what's crazy? I, you give me that New York, I'm on the, you give me that old school locks, J-Hood, Sheik Looch feel. Yeah. Sheik Looch. You give me that Sheik Looch feel. You know what? It's funny. A lot of people. Am I saying that right? Sheik Looch? Yeah, Sheik okay. Looch. When they hear me rap, they, like, I got compared to Nas. I'm like, 
Man, stop playing with me, man. I can Nas? see why they say Nas, but you may maybe on a more up tempo beat. Yeah. Maybe on a more up tempo, but that's like that gritty, uh, north gritty down in the dungeon mm-hmm. flow to me. Yeah. So that's why I give it the Sheik Looch kind of vibe. And with that, that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm from where you, so I know what's receptive to what's going on. So mm-hmm. maybe, but that's why the internet is so big. Yeah. That's yeah. why streaming is so big. So once yeah. you put your shit up on Apple Music, damn, this nigga, what is, is he in New York? Is yeah. he, he rapping like that, he from down with him. Oh, yeah. no, nah, we need him on the, f- and that's how it goes. Yeah. Maybe after this interview, somebody see this interview. Shit, oh, we need a dope. feature with this nigga. Thanks, that'll be dope. Hey, man, you never know how you know shit goes. Just man. being, like like I said, being from Best of Both Worlds, having, you know, both sides, like up north and being down in South Carolina, it's just, it's crazy. Like, I picked up so much, like, you know, being up north, you learn how to, protect yourself, watch your back. Yeah. And then you get down to South Carolina, you're like more humble, like it's more, you get to live, like you get to throw rocks and get South Carolina and New York run together though. Yeah. So far, I'm like on some historical slave type of. Facts though. A yeah, lot of people don't know yeah, that. Yeah. Like yeah. Chicago and Mississippi is connected. Yeah. South Carolina and New York and DC is connected. Yep. So that's why so many people in South Carolina have relatives in New York. Mm-hmm. That's why people, so many people get in New York got relatives in South Carolina and it's yep. crazy. Yep. It's crazy, bro. Yep. But that shit, so that's why it's really rooted in you. Mm-hmm. It's just we're on the southern part of that mm-hmm. kind of scenario. Yeah, you know what it's, I mean? like I said, it's just being up there, like I was more brought on to, of course, Biggie, J, Nas, yeah. Fab. Yeah. And then, you know, when you get down here, it's like, okay, you got the, you know, the J. Coles, everybody else, like, you know what I'm saying, the downside rappers. But I love it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I love it being the, almost like the underdog because I don't yeah. sound like South Carolina. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's dope. Like I love it. I love it. I love it. I um and it's crazy as I was just looking at Apple Music about uh streaming and how um you don't like you can have a fan in Russia. Yeah. All the way to Mexico. Yeah. All the way to and it's like if you can touch people it's just about where to go to touch those. And I think, you know, so far as artists, it's like, you know, you just got to use blog. You know, it's just, it's so more broad ranging than where you at. Facts. You know what I mean? So I think this quarantine kind of helped me out. And looking at that video, man, I'm pretty sure that with your project and your album, you know, whatever you got coming out, your EP, yeah. what you, you said it's called Bars. Uh, bars Not Dead. Bars Not Dead. Yeah. How many tracks you want to do? We looking, I got, man, honestly, I got so many songs just okay. stacked up that we okay. probably just do like a, like a series. Yeah. Okay. Almost like the blueprint. Okay. Like, you know so you ever thought about, you get representation over a management team, or because it seemed like you at that level if you wanted to that, or you want somebody it want to be more discoverable. Like if, they, if you don't want to go look for it, keeping it a keeping it a whole Fendi man. Like I'm nervous. That's what it is because I've I've had people reach out to me and you know what I'm saying send me like bogus contracts, mm. like real rap. Like a while back when I know y'all heard Rick Ross talk about this guy named Booby and all his tracks. I heard Booby before. Yeah, 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 yeah. Booby boy. Not Booby Boy, but Booby sent me when I was on, I used to be on Facebook. Booby heard my music through Facebook, reached out to me, and come to find out he was stealing money from the artists. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like scamming the artists. Like he was like, yeah, we're going to put you on the self made, you know, mixtape album, whatever they had going I on. I remember that. Yeah. If you notice, he don't mention Booby no more. Right. Like he stopped fucking with him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, so that's like, some. That's, um... So at that, I'm like, it oh, made man, you nervous. Yeah, like yeah, scared as hell. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. like, if somebody gonna do it, like they gotta, they gotta come correct. Like, I need to see you in person. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Sit down. I'm gonna have my lawyer beside me. You yeah. can have whoever you want with yeah. me. Yeah. We gonna read that shit right in front of you. Right, right, you right. Know what I'm saying so, but it was crazy. Like he wanted to fly me out to Miami and it was like, yeah, you bring your half and I'm gonna put up my half. I'm like, man, that shit don't make sense. <laughs> now nah, he ain't gonna. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I can see that. Can, I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we not good, the first man. introduction. Yeah, you know what I mean. Not the, you know. I heard I was just talking to. I know artists that a guy gave, you know, gave him an expensive piece of jewelry. He's like, yo, this, you know, I don't got, no, I don't got the money to give you right now, but take this. He was like, nigga, what? Like, Facts, what the fuck is crazy. this a contract? He like, I'm just want to like to let you know that you know you you know. And it was a roll. I think it was a roll or some shit. I can't remember yeah. what it was, but it's like. The shit that some people sometimes people like to persuade you like that means somebody seeing something in you, which is good. Yeah. But it's just not we ain't on that vibe, fam. You trying to like what you think this is? Like you know I'm not there yet. So you know what I mean. So if you don't try to help me get how much money that you really think you are gonna get out of this? It's crazy. I had to quit my job and everything. (laughs) I had to quit my job. I told like yo, I ain't coming back. I'm about to be a star. For real? Fast. You said you did quit your job. I did. Oh, I think so. You was going. I was working at DTLR. Okay. In Columbia, and. 
I ain't even getting no two weeks. I was like, yo, I'm gone. I'm about to go to Miami. I'm about to sign with MMG. Okay. So at the time, my manager was like, <laughs> okay, we'll see you tomorrow. I'm like, yeah, watch this. And I quit. You quit. And shit never happened, so I ain't had no job. <laughs> <laughs> I had no job, and I wasn't signed, so it was like back to square one. So. Oh, my God. Yeah, that shit crazy. was crazy, man, but. Oh, that's crazy, man. But shit, boo, you fucked my man over, boo. I hope you see this fucking interview. You know what I'm saying? But now on some real shit, man. That's something to make you go harder. I think it is. I think he is locked up to be a honey. Like, oh, for, on some funny shit? I think he is. Oh, yeah. some real shit? Yeah. Oh, man. man he was karma. Really scamming motherfuckers, man. Karma is crazy, bro. And I hope they don't try to, you know, they see this interview. Nah, try to man. Brush my head, but, man. Uh, but what, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, but now, stick it to, that means you had a bigger, it's a bigger picture. Like, look, yeah. it's a, it's a bigger, it's a bigger note that you probably didn't hit yet. Yeah. You know what I mean? And things like this, maybe your next, you know, you, you just got to keep consistency. Like I say, Thanks. consistency. Like yeah. let 20, if you get anything from 2020, learn that consistency. Manifest all the new words we Facts. got Facts. in 2020. <laughs> put them shits besides entanglement. Right, man. <laughs> Live Hip Hop Deli, man. You know, it's DJ Larry Love, man. Before we get out of here, man, drop your Instagram. Let them know where they can find you, man. Shoot, Bugatti Beans, man. That's B-O-O-G-A-T-T-I Beans. It's pushed together. I'm on Apple Music. I'm trending all over. On What's your number one song right now? We can go get on Apple Music. That you that you like that you like. I know you probably got some song shit. that I like. Uh, what's getting the most noise right now? Apple Music. Probably the song I redid. Uh, Mary J and Method. All I need. Ooh. I redid that. I'm gonna check that. What's the name of it? All, all I, I need. need? By yeah. Bugatti Beans. Yep. All right, y'all. Make sure y'all stream that. But all I need, man. Before we get out of here, man. Also, man, you know, definitely, man. Stay clean, stay sanitized, man. Don't let these people fool you, man. Keep your mask on, man. Until next time. In the meantime, between time, we out of here.